my name is Wendy Reed and I teach high school math. We're going to look at an algebraic proof today to kind of help maybe the understanding with the geometric proofs. So basically what I have here is an equation and proofs are just a logical step of reasoning. So basically we're going to just start with the equation and work our way down to the actual answer. Okay? So my actual equation is 4x minus 6 is equal to 2x plus 4. Now the statements is the actual um, truth part and the reasons is why. So how do I know this is true? That's what I was given in the beginning. So I just write given as my reason. Okay. Then we look at the next thing. Okay. If you look at equations, your next thing is you need to get rid of one of the x. So we're going to subtract a 2x from both sides so that we only have an x on one side of the equation. So what I'm going to do is subtract a 2x from both sides and what I end up with is my next step, 4x minus 2x is 2x. Bring down my minus 6 is equal to, these canceled out, so it's equal to 4. So then your reason is going to be, what did I do to get from here to here? What did I do? I subtracted. So my reason is subtraction. That's what I got from here to here. So we look at our next step. I need to get rid of the 6. It's being subtracted, so you do the opposite. You add. So we're going to add 6 to both sides. And what I get for my step 3 is 2x, the 6 is canceled out, is equal to 10. Now how did I get from here to here? I added. So my reason is addition. Okay. And we look at what we need to do next to get x by itself. That's like 2 times x. The opposite of times is division. So we divided both sides by 2. Okay, the 2's cancel out. And we get to our fourth step, which would be x is equal to 5. How do I know x is 5? Or what did I do to get there? I divided by 2. So my reason is division. And that's the end of the proof because you have gotten to where you need to be. That's it.